This year, we're having our fourth annual Bayou Region Out of Darkness Walk for Suicide Prevention. It's getting bigger and better every year. The Bayou Region Out of the Darkness Walk has a lot to offer our community. It's a great resource for us, not only to find information out about mental illness, where to go to get help, and even signs you may, to, you may need to know to recognize those prevention strategies that are needed to help others in our community. Um, for a long time, we didn't really have those resources in our community, and as we come along and through this walk, we are learning more of the available resources we have, and those resources will be provided at our walk. It's going to be this year held at Helche Park, November 16th, at uh, 9 o'clock to noon, registration will open at 8.30. If you'd like to pre-register, and we strongly encourage it to avoid long lines of the day to walk registration, go to www.afsb.org forward slash Bayou Region. It's easy to sign up as an individual or a team. Okay, so when you go to register for the walk, um, there are options where you can become a team leader. As a team leader, you can have people sign up underneath you and you can walk in honor of a person you lost. Um, that is the main concept we have here, to unite you as a family or those who've lost a loved one, but also to unite all of us who have suffered the loss of suicide or are battling mental illness and depression and anxiety. Bayou Region Walk isn't just for someone who's lost a family member or loved one to suicide. It's also for those who struggle or who have attempted suicide. It's a really good way to come together and be around a community and know that you're not alone and to kind of feel that presence of other people who've been through similar experiences and have survived it. The first year I went was two years ago and it was, it was very difficult because um, no, I went because my mom struggled, and being the one who brought her to the hospital, it was hard. I remember how comforting it was. I remember that it was just the love you feel around you. It's some way, shape, or form, somebody's lost somebody, or somebody has struggled themselves like me. It's, it's very comforting to know. The walk grows exponentially each year. From the first year when we had this small group of people who were very passionate but had no idea what we were doing, um, to now when we have a huge committee of people who each person brings something different to it. And when they do, the walk just gets better. So now you go and you see so many people who are a part of building this thing and work all year long to make it something that's going to be impactful and meaningful and not just another walk. It's not, it's not a run, it's a walk. And the walk itself is 1.34 miles. You would leave the park, go down East 7th Street, turn left on Cardinal to North Acadia, turn left again to Bayou Lane, and walk up Bayou Lane, turn right back into the park, which in afterwards we will um, have the raffle and the uh, auction drawings. Last year, I remember actually taking a moment and looking around and you see people that have tears and you see people that are happy. And when you look all around, you actually see a community, people who are together all for the same reason. We're united by suicide or by mental illness. A person who's not sure if they're ready to come to an event that has suicide in the title because it seems like a very serious event, and it is, but it's also a celebration of life. It's a way for everyone to come together as a community in the Bayou region, not just one small area, and see that you're not alone. Um, and if you are struggling, then there are resources. AFSP has a ton of different resources that are going to be offered at the walk, from Healing Conversations, which is a program that um, helps if you lost someone to suicide, you're able to reach out and connect with someone with a similar loss as well as um, we advocate for the crisis hotline and the crisis text line, both of which are resources that you can reach out to if you're struggling or if you're thinking about suicide. This walk is for anybody who struggles, who has lost, who has pets, has children. You want to come to this walk. For one, we do remember everybody. 
that we've lost. And we do acknowledge people who are struggling. And most of all, we celebrate life. Suicide doesn't just stay with one socioeconomic demographic. It crosses all boundaries, be it religion, uh, gender, race, uh, color, creed, sexual orientation. It affects everyone, and I think it coming together as one large community and not just one city, I mean the entire Bayou region. My reason for being involved in the Out of the Darkness Walks is in 2012, my husband and the father of my children died by suicide. It was devastating. I advocate so others don't have to feel the pain that suicide leaves behind, especially children, because it's very, very hard to watch children grieve for someone that died by suicide. Everyone is in this together, we've all struggled. Everyone has been impacted by suicide in one way or another. Be it you've lost someone, you've struggled, or maybe you work in a job where I'm a paramedic. I pick up people who struggle every day. We all have a reason for walking and coming together as one. Our walk goal this year is to raise $60,000 again this year. We're going to keep it 60,000 until we make it. And we'd like to get back to 1,200 people as participants. You can be an actual participant or you can be a virtual participant. This year we have returning sponsors. DJ Rhett is coming back for his second year. Dean Swest as usual. Mr. Reliable, his famous jambalaya, he's coming back for a fourth year. Root to Rise is coming back for a second year. We still have a kid's zone with a slime booth. We have, it's pet, and pet friendly. And my daughter had so much fun in the kid's zone. And I think at the time he was one, he, he, he just went nuts in the kid's zone. It is really, it is really a family, family environment. What we're gonna do a little bit this, different this year is we have our memory board and our 722 reasons to live, but this year we're gonna put a table in front of the stage for people who do not wanna put a, a um, picture on a memory board. They can bring a framed picture of the one that, once they lost and put it on a table in front so everybody can view them. Being a committee member and also being a participant in the Out of the Darkness Walks goes hand in hand. You help others and others help you along the way. It's very humbling to be around others who understand what you're going through. And there's a sense of pride when you realize how much your story can inspire others. For people who want to uh, be advocates for suicide prevention, this year we are the first walk to have a table for advocacy to sign up. Uh, Tyler Rousseau is the one that will be leading the table up. She's a very big advocate for us. She goes to Washington, D.C. and fights for laws for her mental health and suicide prevention. And she's willing there to be there to talk to you. To register for the walk, you go to www.afsp.org forward slash by your region. And guess what? It's free. You'll have a lot of fun with us. Kid Zone, DJ Rhett, Dean Schwest's famous jambalaya, and a whole lot of love. Come out and join us for the day.